Hello, families. Welcome to 2020's Penn Trafford High School Virtual Open House. I am Mrs. Brenda Crystallite. It's so nice to see you here and meet you. Um, I have been in the district for, I think this is my 13th year. Before that, I taught at Laurel Highlands. Um, I have my uh, fine arts degree from Tyler School of Art, Temple University, my teaching certificate from Seton Hill, my master's from uh, Wilkes University. Okay, um, I just want to go through a few things as your child embarks or continues their art education. Okay, um, thank you first of all. Thank you for all the support from the little things like sending a newspaper and plastic grocery bags for our ceramic students to the big things like making sure your student, you know, is, is healthy and, you know, fed and clothed and comes to school or if they're home, they're supported, they have a quiet place to work and you ask them about their work. It's, it's a partnership and I'm so thankful for all of you. Thank you for sharing your student um, during this weird crazy time um, and thank you for just all the little things that you do I appreciate you my philosophy during this hybrid stage of 2020 2021 school year is that the class time if your student is physically in school um, that it will strengthen what they do online I want to make sure that all students no matter their situation um, are completing all of the work that is posted online so while they're here we are really squeezing as much from the time the short time we have together okay classes are 41 minutes um, no no matter what level you are okay um, that's my philosophy what does that look like well in this hybrid situation when students are at home will consider them to be remote, okay? They are going to be going onto Google Classroom. I think that's consistent across the district. Um, listening to my presentations, watching videos, doing their preparatory work, whether it's research or sketches, things like that. They can be uploading images to um, their portfolios, whatever platform they're using and um, using critiques. My advanced placement kids were starting to use Instagram to take quick pictures and comment um, on each other's works. It's a quick, easy way for them to reflect upon their work. So that's all can be done remote. When we're in person though, we have full access to the studios. Um, so we're using the materials. Um, if there's a quick demonstration I can give that not everybody needs or you know this one-on-one -on -one time with the student we will be doing that in school okay um, it's time to photograph artwork so they can upload it later and of course keeping everyone healthy all right we are sanitizing the room after every class I am sanitizing tools after single uses the students have access to gloves and hand sanitizer throughout everyone is wearing a mask um, we do have from the ceramic studio we have a beautiful courtyard that we can go out into where they can distance and get a little uh, free mask time so it's it's all good we're staying as safe as as we possibly can and doing everything we can okay for parents your go-to um, if you ever have any questions this is where you go you go to eChalk okay um, and what you do is it's it's a lot of clicks but we'll get you there. You click on pentrafford.org, you go there, you click on um, schools, faculty and staff, my name is Brenda Crystallite, and then in the left hand corner is, uh, I'm sorry, on your right, on your right is going to be the list of the classes I teach. You just click that link, okay? This is what you'll see when you get to um, your child's class page. You'll see the syllabus, lesson plans, um, the Google Classroom code, which you are all welcome to in, to join, and also a remind um, 
for, for quick access. Say we do go back out of school and I, or even in the hybrid model, if a child's not physically in school for the day, but I need to ask them something about their project, I can zip off a quick remind. Okay. Um, if you've been in the district a while, you know all about eChalk, I'm sure, because it's used, you know, throughout the levels. But the syllabus, okay, it's going to be found on eChalk as well as Google Classroom. If your child came to school in hybrid, um, they received a copy of that. The course description, um, assessment, those kind of things, it's all listed on the syllabus. Google Classroom codes are listed on eChalk. Um, and then Remind, you are all more than welcome to join the Remind code. It's listed on eChalk as well. We will use, for everyone except my advanced placement art and design students, we will use artsonia.com to record our work, to have a, um, an online presence. And it, it's fantastic because um, some of these students, I haven't been their teacher since they were in elementary school. They still have their projects up there. I mean, Lord only knows where their projects are, you know, just just blown away in the wind. But there, there are images there. It's recorded. It's preserved forever. So it's a great thing. If you haven't joined your child's fan club, please go on artsonia.com and join that. And if you have any questions about a parent code or anything you need to, to access that, just holler, okay? What is ceramics? I teach five ceramic classes and then one um, non-ceramics class. But ceramics is, as you can see, Kingery says, the art and science of making and using solid articles that are inorganic, non-metallic. So we talk a lot about um, what it's not just pottery. It is everywhere. It's the road you drive on. Um, it's it's the insulation even in your home. It's it's things like this because I'm trying to inspire children to go into what's called a material sciences field. I did a um, workshop at Harbison Walker in Pittsburgh. They need people, and these are high paying jobs. If your child is interested in art, also interested in science, not sure what they want to do, talk to them about material sciences. Okay. Um, okay. Glass, cement, concrete. We talk about this stuff. Okay. Studio habits of mind. Um, even if your child will never take another art class again, and I hope they do, but even if they don't, while they're in art class, they learn these habits. They learn to envision, to plan, to observe, to express, among other things. And no matter where their life path leads them, the, the great part about arts and education is they take these skills and they can translate them whatever their future holds. Okay. Um, I'm going to go through this. Lots of advocacy. In Ceramics 1, the projects are, are basic. We're, we're um, introducing this, the student to the material and helping them begin to understand it. Ceramics, you could spend your whole life studying it and just really barely scratch the surface, but um, we, we start by making... Um, projects where the, the student has ample opportunity to express themselves, but within a, a, a maybe a stricter framework than the upper level classes. Ceramics 2, I introduce the wheel as a new tool as a, a, to, to create pottery, okay, and we do projects such as this. Um, art 2 and Art 3, okay, I'm teaching them. They're each semester classes. Um, my goal is to prepare these students to take advanced placement art and design. So it's going to be a wide range of projects, wide range of materials, lots of, of, of course, lots of hands-on things as they begin to develop their interests. Okay. AP Art and Design, it's really the, the apex class in our art department. Okay. Um, it is a rigorous course. It's meant to um, take the place of a foundational art course in college because at the end of the year you submit a portfolio of work. It's not like other AP classes where you have to take a test. At the end of the year you submit a portfolio of work and um, that is graded. For your, it depends on where your child goes to school. If they go to school after, they could potentially receive college credit for the artwork that they create in high school, which is a great deal. There's three portfolios. I teach them all. Okay. Um, each portfolio, it can, consists of a sustained investigation where the student comes up with and develops a line of inquiry and also the selected works, which is, you know, just the best of the best works that really show off technique. 
Okay, um, here's some of the things about Advanced Placement Studio Art. Um, it's a lot of writing and reflecting, and it's a it's a kind of like the branches of a tree where you might you might develop a line of inquiry and it branches off and then it twigs off and then it reaches the leaves a conclusion. Great. Then what do you do? You backtrack and say what what other thread can I pick up? Or maybe your your tree just keeps going and going and going because you keep coming up with questions. Okay, things that parents can do at home to help their art student, um, set, help set them up for success, okay? Whether it's just um, maybe you have enough space, they can have their very own corner that they dedicate as an art studio, okay? Just their place where they go and create art. Um, maybe it, you don't have that luxury. Maybe it's just a, a time to say, how about you work on your artwork? Or maybe you can show me, you know, what you learned in art class today, okay? Help them take great pictures of everything um, so that the, the process is recorded. Um, we're starting to get a little bit back to normal, so art classes, they might still be virtual, but there, there are many opportunities. And the more teachers your child has, the, the more their um, ideas that they're exposed to and the, you know, the better off they're going to be. The Westmoreland Museum, it's such a nice little cultural gem. It's right there in Greensburg. It's free all the time, and they're always doing family days and virtual days and, and having things like outdoor movies right now, okay? Um, go to interesting places, okay? You can walk around the grounds of Falling Water. You can you can go to Randy Land and, and take pictures that they can use in their artwork. All, or go to the Carnegie Museum, even Natural History. You take pictures of those butterfly cases. It's fantastic. Okay, uh, there's the Westmoreland Museum, beautiful little, like I said, it's a gem. There are pre-college programs for the, you know, the serious arts student. Here's just a few listed. I'm sure there are many, many more. Encourage your student to get a job, okay? Crafty Shack, I know, is always looking for people to help um, volunteer in an art-related field. You know, help your, help your student, um, you know, get out there and get some real-world experience. Okay, my contact information is right here. All right, I appreciate, sorry the video went about 12 minutes. Have a wonderful time in this virtual open house and please contact me with any questions, issues, comments. I, I love it all. Thank you for, for sending all of your, your goodies in. Take care, bye.